Here I am, Huelva, Andalucía, south of Spain. A land full of history, pretty white villages, and stunning beaches. A place full of life, colors, and passion. The land of flamenco music. And also the place where the best flamenco cajons are made. Today I'm going to show you my visit to Pepote Percussion, where Pepote himself will show us the building process of the minor artisan line of cajons. I was welcomed by the maestro himself, Pepote. He's gonna show us all around. For more than four years, I have been playing the cajons made by Pepote and I have always wanted to visit his factory to see where the magic happens. Now we are going to see what makes these cajons so special. Before starting the process of making a cajon, Pepote has shown to me the different types of wood he uses to make the artisan line of cajons. I have no doubt that after this experience, watching the production of a cajon, I will leave this factory with all the answers I was looking for. To begin, they start by cutting the wood in the exact dimensions of the cajon that will be made. Always done by this machine. Esta máquina que es muy muy antigua, pero funciona super bien y no tiene nada electrónico y es magnífica. The wood selected to make this cajon is the same used in the model Tango line of the Mino Artisan series. After the wood of the body is cut, it's time to make the back hole in the back plate. And for that, there is this special machine. Then a little bit of sanding in the edges of the hole. Now it's time to assemble the body of the cajon. To make the body strong and sturdy, the potty uses some small pieces of the same type of wood used to make the body. <laughs> and to fix these small pieces of wood, he uses glue and nails. The tornillo va aquí a esta pieza. Y la cuerda va a grabada aquí. Entonces tiene que estar muy bien para que le dé un, eh, el, a la fuerza, eh, fuerza a la estructura. Then, when the four pieces of the body are ready to be assembled, he passes the pieces in a machine that makes the sides, the bottom and top of the cajón perfectly even. Y lo que hacemos es cuadrarlo para que esté perfectamente cuadrado. Now it's time to assemble the cajon with more glue and nails. Now it's time to wait a little bit while the glue dries. Now I'm gonna take a little break here from the studio to say that at the beginning I was thinking Pepote was making this cajon as an example for this video. But then he said, 
This cajon I'm making now is for you. It will have your name on it. Whoa, how cool is that? The master himself making a cajon for me. Amazing. Now let's go back to the factory. Now with the body assembled, Pepote is going to use a little machine to trim the corners and edges of the body. Now he starts sending the body. The next step of the process is the front plate, or tapa in Spanish. Pepote asked me to choose the wood for the front plate, and I really like this one. Me encantó esta que que está hacia la a central. Esta te gusta, ¿no? Sí, sí. Está bonita, pues esta. Linda, perfecto. This is a type of wood that comes from Brazil, and it's called Brazilian ironwood. De Brasil, Brazil. This is the same type of wood used for the top of the line, the minor artisan Martinetti line. Before adjusting the front plate in the body, he explains which is the best way to position the tapa on the cajón. El agua de la veta siempre está hacia abajo, en el cajón. O sea, si el cajón, por ejemplo, va a ir así, intentamos que la veta vaya siempre para abajo, ¿lo ves? Así cae. Si la pones así, la sensación es de que va para arriba. No es natural que, que el agua suba, que, que la veta, o sea, el agua tiende a caer. Entonces es más bonito siempre que la veta caiga. This shows that all the details are very important for Pepot. Not only the sound, but also the design of the cajon. Now he's going to show how to position the tapa on the cajon. First, he makes sure that the tapa is centered in the body. Aquí está el centro. Y comprobamos que esté centrado, ¿eh? Then make the holes for the screws. Now it's time to cut what is left around the top. And then he starts shaping the corners and thumb notches that are signatures of Pepote for the minor artisan line. After this process, it's time for more sanding. Now the body and the front plate together. There's a lot of sun in the process. And now he removes the tapa to sand it more. And then Pepote explains that it's important to name the tapa with the respective body, to make sure that it will be the right tapa for that body. Felipe. Perfecto. Lo ponemos así porque porque cada cajón tiene su tapa. Esta tapa solo le vale a este cajón. Sí, porque he hecho he hecho a mano. And after all the sanding process, it's time to apply the first layer of lacquer to protect the wood. Let's stop this building process now because the cajon needs to dry up. This was day one of my visit that of course finished with a great jump. Pepote has invited his friend Lito, a great cajon player, to come along and jump with us.
It was so much fun to play with Lito and Pepote. And I have to say that I have learned a lot about flamenco rhythms. And of course, I try to follow these masters. Now, back to the process. Now we are going to learn a little bit more about the strings that will be inside of the cajon. Different from most of flamenco cajons that come with guitar strings in the inside, Pepote makes the strings of his cajons in the factory, because according to him, guitar strings don't produce the sound he's looking for. Tiene un grosor mayor. Esta es un tipo de cuerda gordita. Esta produce un sonido mucho más fuerte. No es el sonido es más más menos útil. Y después metamos otra que es la fina, que parecen iguales pero no son iguales. Esta esta cuerda es mucho más sutil y mucho más blandita de tocar. O sea, cuando el el cuando rozas el cajón suena. El mínimo. Increíble. El mínimo. Pero ese mínimo es lo que hace que suene después de una manera o de otra. Now let's see how Pipot installed the strings inside of the box. For my new cajon, Pepote chose to install two sets of eight adjustable strings. The same system of strings used in the minor artisan Segiria line. Now that the strings are placed inside of the cajon, it's time to include the four feet made of silicone. Esta pata lo bueno que tiene es que absorbe muchísimo la, la vibración. Now we are getting to the finishing part. This is how the brand and logo of Mino are painted in the Mino Artisan line. Anda. Uh. Eh, lindo, lindo, lindo. Es único. Do you like it? I like it. The last layer of lacquer in the front plate is made in a way that it stays with little drops of silicone that creates a texture in the front plate. This is very cool. This is another Pepote signature in the Mino Artisan line. Last but not least, the engraving of cajonmaster.com in the front plate. Now I have the chance to close it down before giving to the maestro for the final check. Ahí está. Pepote makes sure that not only this cajon, but all the cajons are tested by himself before leaving the factory. And here is my new cajon made from start to finish in two days by Pepote. Soon you are going to listen to this new cajon in the next videos here on the channel. I was very lucky to see this process and even more cool to meet Pepote in person. After these days with him, I could witness his passion for the craft and understand why these cajons are so special. Big thanks to Mino for making it happen, and of course, 
Thank you, Pepote, for sharing your art with us. If you like this video and want more content like that here on the channel, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you didn't already. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time with another video.